guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very, very old challenge called the Power of Makeup. And that is where you do one side of your face full makeup, and the other side you leave completely no makeup at all. So I'm going to start off by going in with a renewing eye cream. Um, this is the Avocado and Argan Oil. This is my favorite product for making dry skin not very noticeable under the foundation. So I'm going to just take a little bit on my finger and go right underneath my eye. Alright. Now before I get too, a little too carried away, I'm going to take a black eyeliner and just draw a line. Yeah, the center of my face, so I know not to go past that line. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with some primer, and I'm going to go in with this uh, MAC Prep and Prime primer, and I'm, I'm going to take just a little kind of bit, and I'm going to put it on a brush so I don't use as much product. And that it also saves money, which means you don't have to, you can spend the money that you would spend on buying new products on something nice for yourself, like clothes or shoes or anything you like, pretty much. Alright, now I'm going to go in with foundation. I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl CG Smoothers Hydrating Makeup in the shade Ivory. And this one is too light for me. But then I'm going to go in with the uh, Make Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y335 and add just a little bit on that brush using the same brush that I did for the primer. I'm blending this down my neck. I don't want to get it too close to that line just because I don't want to mess up that line. And I'm just going to blend this out normally, and I might have used a little too much, but that is fine. It will thin out once I start blending it in. I'm just putting this all over my face. As you can already tell, I might need to add, just a, I might have needed it, just a little more of that darker shade. It's fine, it will, the foundation will look darker when I put it on uh, bronzer. And I'm going to go on with concealer. I'm going to use this Aurora and Ipsy cover, uh, Pro Cover Up Concealer and Balmy Beige. Just right under the eyes. I'm going to put it on the side of the nose and there, and there, and here. And then I'm also going to go with this small stippling brush and blend that in like so. And just make sure that it doesn't go over the line that you've drawn. All right. Now for setting powder, I'm going to go in with a nice uh, Maybelline New York Master Fix in loose, uh, loose setting powder in the shade translucent, and a nice big fluffy brush and powder my whole face with this. And there's no really not a real technique to blending your or setting your powder, or setting your foundation with powder. It's just however you like to set that. And I'm going in with the same brush that I used for foundation and primer. And going in to my contour palette. I'm using this Lisa Franks Bitten and Bronze Beauty uh, Bronzer in matte. And just brushing it along there along my forehead and along the jawline. 
Now I'm going to go with eyebrows and I'm going to go in with this It Cosmetics Universal Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Taupe. And I'm going to go up. Nope, wrong eyebrow. I didn't do anything. I just, okay, yep. Yeah. I almost forgot what eyebrow I needed to do. I always start with this eyebrow, that's why. But I cut myself. I'm just going to shape my eyebrows and fill them in. And do even nice hair strokes. And then I'm going to blend that out with the spoolie on the bottom of this. Alright, and now I'm going to go in with a brow powder and an angled brush. I'm going to go in with a small angled brush, no idea what the name of it is, and this nice Nomad brow powder, and it's a duo shade. And I'm just going to use the darker shade to fill in the back of my eyebrow, the warmer, lighter one I'm to fill in the front. Then I'm going to go in with brow gel. I'm using this Pixie by Petra Brow Tamer. And there we go. Alright. Now, I'm going to go in with some eye primer. And I'm going to prime my eye. I'm using the Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mott. And it, it's just a clear eyeshadow primer. You can also use concealer, you can use foundation, you can use anything sticky, um, or you don't have to use it at all if you don't want to wear your eye look for too long. And I'm going to go in with this palette here. I don't know who it's by, and I don't know the name of the, sh the palette, and I don't know any of the names of these shades because it came with just this. But I'm going to go in with this shade right here and a nice fluffy brush. And right, nothing was up on that anyway. Yeah, nothing's coming up on my brush. Okay, and then I'll switch to another brush. Okay, instead I'm going to use this e.l.f. blending brush in that same shade that I was dipping into, right there. And I'm just going to blend that out in the crease and then I'm going to pack on some eyeshadow with this nice flat brush right here and I'm just going to go ahead and pack on a nice gold shimmery color right here right here on the lid and that is it for the eye shadow. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with this black eyeliner, the same eyeliner I used to draw the line down my face. This is a Bonnie Bell eyeliner in the shade black. And I'm just wa line my waterline. And that's it. And then I'm going to go in with mascara. And I'm, gonna, I'm using this Max Wash Volumizer Mascara by Dose. And, but you can use any eyeliner you want, I mean any mascara you want, you can use false lashes, you can use both eye uh, mascara and false lashes, or you do whatever you do for your uh, eyes. And then I'm going to go in with this new nice uh, blush by Cargo in the shade Bali. And I'm just going to dab this on my cheek. Very nice subtle pink glow and then I'm going to go in with a highlighter and this nice brush right here nice big brush and I'm using the Luna highlighter in the shade Electra and an Eco Tools blending brush but it is big enough for me to use as a highlighter or highlighting brush there right there tip of the nose bridge of the nose Cupid's bow, and then the chin. All right, now that we're done with that, we're gonna go into lips. And for lips, we are going to use this one right here. This is a this is Barracuda, but I don't remember who it's by. And we're just gonna fill in half 
of our lips with this nice color. And we're done. So this is with makeup, this is without makeup. There's a dramatic, a dramatic difference. Not very much, no, no it's still kind of dramatic, but all right, well, see you next time. Bye.